What's up guys, Mike Dakota here. Today, I'm gonna show you guys some really cool things that I learned, okay? So let's say you have this array of numbers like this, and then you want to print out this array of numbers or a matrix of numbers, okay? So what, is, what do you do? Well, you just loop here from the start. Normally you just loop there, right? And then you just print it out. G at I dot size, G plus plus. And you just print out every single number, right? IJ. Now the problem is that in this competitive programming, you, what you have to do is you have to print out spaces between, right? And then a new line after each line. So how would you do that? Well, ideally what you would do here is you would do, um, if you're at a new line, so if you're at a new line here, you're gonna print out a new line Otherwise, you print out a space, right? So if you're at the last last element here, you're gonna print out a new line to go to the next line. Otherwise, you print out a space. Okay, so this is what you would do ideally, and it would just print, ideally if you run this, it would just print out every single number in a matrix or an array like that, okay? But this is a really cool trick that you could do, okay? So what you could do is, is that this is something I learned by reading other people's unreadable code, which is if you do this, that, and then you do j is equal to g of i dot size. And this would do the exact same thing, okay? And the reason why is, here, I'll show you what I mean. Hold up. Oh wait, minus one. Yeah, so this would do the exact same thing. And the reason why is because here, what it's doing is that this is checking if J is equal to the last element. So it's checking if you're at the last element. So if you're at the last element, this is gonna return one, right? This is gonna return one. And if you're not, it'll return zero. So because this returns one, if you look at this string, the string is zero slash n, right? So if you look at, if I look at, um, go to paint, explain to you guys what this means. So this space slash n, right? So at the zeroth index, it prints, there's a space here, and at the first index, it's printing out a new line, slash n. So here, when you're checking at this point, if j is equal to the last element, what this is doing is that if you're reaching to the last element in your current array, right, in your current last value here, it's checking, when you reach it, it's going to print, this is gonna return one, right and it's going to return a new line so it's going to print out a new line here so it goes to the next line and if you're not at the last element or last row it just prints a space so yeah this is a cool trick i hope you guys enjoy this you could use it sometimes yeah to avoid the if statement peace